Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to all my current subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Lakeisha Inspires family. Today is October 2nd, 2021. So, okay. You guys know that we, I believe that we are in the end times. Um, I believe that the Revelation 12 sign took place. Um, in September over, I believe, the Feast of Trumpets of 2017. And that gave us, um, I believe that started the seven-year time frame. I don't believe that there is a seven-year tribulation because um, there's nothing in Scripture that supports that, okay? A lot of people um, has been taught that there is a seven year tribulation periods. Um, but I don't agree with that. And it's okay for us to disagree. We don't have to agree on everything. However, um, you know, we are still all part of the body of Christ. So let's just not get all amped up if we have different viewpoints and whatnot. Okay. All right. So with that, I want to share some things that I've learned um, in my um, end times Bible class with you guys. And I love this lady, y'all. I have learned so much from her over these last three or four years that I've been following her. her. I've learned more from her than I have learned um, in my whole, throughout my whole life being a believer in Christ. Okay? So, um, yeah. With that, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this really quick. So, uh, the show notes is titled, Beware the Counterfeits. This is like, you guys have to share this video, okay? It says, within the pages of Revelation are described what can only be referred to as counterfeits and posters, posers, and misdirections. The multiplicity, multiplicity of fakes which show up in Revelation include... A counterfeit Christ, a counterfeit God, the Father, counterfeit Armageddon, or Armageddon, and a counterfeit, uh, and counterfeit glorified believers. And then she says, um, "Let's go ahead and examine some of these counterfeits depicted in Scripture." Okay, so the first one, <clears throat> this is the real, and then I will do the counterfeit. Next, so I'm going to do the real first and then the counterfeit next, okay? <clears throat> um, before we go get into this, make sure that you guys ask God to um, give you the eyes to see, the ears to hear, the heart to receive the truth, and to um, be able to understand um, her viewpoint of how she arrives at her um, dates and all of that, how she comes to the conclusions that she comes to, okay? Because um, a lot of us, like I said earlier, have been taught a certain type of way, which I believe is not the correct way that we were being taught. And so it's going to take us to unlearn a lot of things that we were taught to be able to to know the truth. So with that, you will definitely, you know, need for God to intervene so that, you know, we don't just try to dismiss facts because it's not something that we was taught growing up or tradition or we learned in Bible class, church, or whatnot, okay? I hope you guys understand, and I hope I made sense. <laughs> okay, so... The first one, like I said, is the real deal. The second one is the counterfeit. Okay, so the real will be God the Father, according to Revelations 2, 27. The counterfeit will be the dragon, according to Genesis 3, 15 and Revelation 13, 2. Christ, 100% man and 100% divine, is the real deal. The Antichrist slash beast slash beast slash Apollyon Hybrid beast from sea slash bottomless pits um, is according to Revelations 11.7 and 13.1. One. 
The real deal died on Passover, raised on first fruits. The counterfeit dies on Passover, and he is, or it is also raised on first fruits. Um, and she does have a timeline with this. Um, I know that <clears throat> there are some of you that follow my end times Bible study teacher, but if you don't, I will leave her um, link and everything in the description box below this video. Also, if you feel led by Holy Spirit to support the channel, as I receive no compensation from um, any of my videos, and that is by choice, as I choose to trust that God will send people to the channel that don't mind supporting. With that, any and all of your support is greatly appreciated, and you can do so um, via GoFundMe, PayPal, or Cash App, or you can purchase me a tea. Um, those links are in the description box below this video as well. If you need any gospel tracts or Bibles, and we do need Bibles in our homes in these final, final seconds, because when the grid goes down, there's not going to be the internet. We're not going to be able to get on our phones and um, get on the Bible app and stuff like that. We're going to have to be like really in the word so that we can be led, um, hear God and all of that stuff. Um, so if you need a Bible, I will send either one of those things to you for free you can reach out to me via email and the link is in my description box um or i'm sorry the link is in my about section on my channel all right so then we have the real cast beast and false prophet into the lake of fire at his return according to revelation 1920 this is the counterfeit kills two witnesses after return from death uh she has a timeline on that one as well Christ, this is the real, Christ arrives on a white horse with many crowns leading his armies. This is the counterfeits. The beast arrives on a white horse with a crown. And um, if you guys do your research, um, you would know that um, the situation that's going on um, that started in 2019 if you go look up the meaning to that, it means to crown. Just FYI, okay? So, uh, the counterfeit, like I said, arrive, the counterfeit beast arrives on white horse with a crown. Heads and alliance of ten kings, according to Revelation 6, 2, 17, 16, and 17. The real Holy Spirit emanates from father and son according to revelation 5 6 the false the counterfeit false prophet speaks dragon words perform signs in presence of beast according to revelation 13 11 and 12 holy spirit points to christ the real holy spirit points to christ john 15 26 the counterfeit false prophet directs people to worship the beast the real seal slash writing on foreheads of god's people indicating ownership according to revelation 3 12 7 3 14 1 22 3 the counterfeit mark on hands uh mark on hand or forehead indicating ownership The real God gives authority to Christ, according to Revelation 2.27. The counterfeit dragon gives authority to the beast, according to Revelation 13.2. The real Christ sits on his father's throne, according to Revelation 3.21. The counterfeit beast sits on Satan's throne, according to Revelation 13.2. The Spirit causes people to be conformed to the image of Christ, according to Romans 8, 27 and 29. The counterfeit false prophet gives breath spirit to the image of the beast. People are possessed by spirits, demons, slash fallen angels, according to Revelation 13, um, 15. And my paper just got wet. I'm going to reprint this because I hate when my papers get on nasty. Okay. 
Um, the real Christ gives authority to believers according to Revelation 3.27. The counterfeit power authority given to image to kill those who do not worship it according to Revelation 13.15. The real millennial reign of Christ slash believe Christ slash believers according to Revelations three twenty seven twenty three twenty seven twenty four and six. The counterfeit <clears throat> reign of the beast, image of the beast, forty two months only, when they say peace and safety, first Thessalonians uh, five three. The real presence of mortals and glorified saints during the millennium, remnant of Israel plus the nations, according to Revelation 12, 6, Matthew 25, 31 through 46. The counterfeit <clears throat> presence of mortals and those in the image of the beast during the reign of the beast. Also, those in the image of the Christ will be present, but under a death sentence. Okay. We have the real Armageddon slash Christ conquers the beast, according to Revelation seventeen fourteen. <clears throat> we have the counterfeit sixth trumpet beast conquers harlot fake Armageddon, and the harlot is um, not the same as the beast, and the harlot is the NWO, which is actually the old world order it's been around since the beginning of time we have the real armageddon slash christ conquers beasts according to revelation seventeen fourteen. and um, we have the counterfeit six trumpet beast conquers the harlots fake armageddon at the predetermined hour at the same time as the abomination of desolation fake second coming of christ second woe According to Revelation 9, 13 through 19, 17, 16, and 17, 18, 10, 17, 19, 11, 11 through 14. This is the real millennial peace according to Isaiah 13, 17, and 18. The counterfeits, beast peace, peace and safety. The real fire from heaven destroying Satan's final post millennial army at Gog and Magog war, according to Revelation 20 and 9. The counterfeit fire from heaven by false prophet at time of abomination. Fake end of the old world prior to creation of the beast version of a new heaven, complete with fallen angels. <clears throat> fallen angels, watchers from the pit, fake glorified saints destroyed or tear forms earth, fake God the Father's presence on earth with humans after dragon is cast to the earth. The real angelic activity according to Revelation 14, 6 through 9, counterfeit watcher activity, fifth trumpet, Revelation 9, 1 through 11. The real Christ and believers rule with a rod of iron, according to Revelation 2.27. The counterfeit beast and its image rule, according to Revelation 13.15. The real everyone must worship Christ, according to Zechariah 14.17. The counterfeit everyone must worship the beast, according to Revelation 13.12. The real Christ provides for those who acknowledge his sovereignty, according to Zechariah 14, 17, identified by keeping tabernacles. The counterfeit beast provides for those who acknowledge his sovereignty, identified by a mark. The real Christ is king over the whole earth, according to Zechariah 14, 9. The counterfeit beast is king over the whole earth, according to Revelation 3, 7. The real capital is Jerusalem, according to Zechariah 8, 3. 
The counterfeit capital is in Jerusalem as well, according to Revelation 11, 2, and 8. Now, in order for these events, which are associated with the sixth trumpet destruction of the harlot to appear as though they were actually events associated with the second coming of Christ, Armageddon with a layering of the post-millennial God, Magog war, after which God comes to dwell on earth, there needs to be the illusion that other events have already transpired, you guys. Like, that is deep. Like, I didn't understand this at first. And when I heard it again, I was reading this, and I was like, it was just dropped in my spirit. I was like, yes, I understand now. Like, they're going to have these events that is going to take place. Like, what is going on now, where it's going to deceive people and thinking, you know, certain events have already taken place so that when the real events come, they're going to think that this is the return of our Lord and Savior. You know what I mean? Like, it goes to say, the appearance of the beast and false prophet, the mark of the beast, various plagues, droughts, wars associated with the seals, trumpets, bows, etc. And then um, in part two, I'm going to give you guys some examples that she shared um, of the kind of biblical deceptions and substitutions that may be presented to us. Like, y'all, do y'all understand what this is saying? Like, there needs to be the illusion that other events have already transpired. Like, why? So that when the real deal happens, everybody's going to think that it is Christ returning. In reality, it's going to be the beast setting up his fake kingdom and all his things and all of that. Remember that the beast is going to He's going to be a copycat to everything that Christ is supposed to be doing, is going to do, who he is, and all of that. So they have to have, before the real actual event happened, like where the beast set up and all of that stuff, there has to be some trickery stuff involved so that they can play this mind thing with people's brains and stuff like that and to tricking them to thinking that... Um, like what's going on right now is, you know, the mark and all of that stuff when reality is not, it's very, not a good thing. And the Lord is not happy about it. I do not believe so. Um, but then people are going to think and they're going to be deceived that, oh my God, this is Christ. Like there's fire coming from the sky. There's, um, all these things happening. There's, you know. Um, he's being a copycat to the Lord. Like, the illusion that other events have already transpired. So they can get you to think that these things already happened. Like, oh, the mark of the beast is already here right now. When the real mark comes, then what? People's going to be deceived, you know? Like, you guys, please take this to the Lord for your own, own, own confirmations. Um, everything that you hear from me or anybody else, take it to the Lord for your own confirmations. Um, this is all I have for you guys right now. Like I said, I'm going to do a part two. As always, I love you guys. And remember that God loves you more. Until next time, you guys stay blessed and shalom.